Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're making beef cheek tacos. I've got some nice beef cheeks that I've trimmed up. We're gonna get some seasoning on the outside, get them in some smoke, cook them until they're falling apart tender, and then we're gonna make some awesome beef cheek tacos. Let's get to cooking. So I first had beef cheeks when I was out in Texas last summer or visited my buddy Matt Pittman. He serves these beef cheek tacos at his meat church class, and I fell in love with them. And I've never really seen them uh, around our part of the country, but I did find some at Sam's recently. So I bought them and I wanna share with y'all how we turn them into some beef cheek tacos. Now, when you buy beef cheeks, they come in a cryovac pack and they're pretty good size. They weighed like six to eight pounds on average. And there's usually three big pieces of cheeks in that pack. And they have a ton of fat, ton of connective tissue, CNU all over them. So if you take your time with these beef cheeks, you take that fat off slowly, take that CNU off, you expose all this beautiful meat. And this is what cooks down. You can see the fat, the marbling in that meat. It melts as you cook it. It gives the beef cheeks such a unique, rich flavor. It's a lot like eating really good brisket point and it just melts in your mouth. So you could use whatever seasoning you want on these beef cheeks. Traditionally, it's a Mexican dish. So I'm going with those kind of flavors the chilies, the cumins, the peppers, all those things that give it some really good flavor. I'm using my Grande Gringo season. If you have a favorite Mexican style season, hey, go for it. We're gonna put a little bit on the outside first. And I'm going really generous with it, man. I'm not trying to be light. We'll do that on all sides, flip them over. You wanna get a really good coating of these seasonings and every little nook and cranny on these beef cheeks. Just pat it in a little bit, make sure those flavors are sticking to the meat. Then I'm also gonna hit these with a little bit of barbecue flavor. I've got my hot rub. I want some spice. We're not really going for sweetness in this dish. It's more about savory flavors, and this hot rub is gonna go great with it. You can layer any combinations of seasonings that you have at home. These work really great. Flip them over, put a little hot rub on the backside. We're gonna be ready to fire up the pit. Now I'm just gonna let the cheeks hang out here, absorb some of that season. It's gonna start pulling out some moisture. We're gonna go fire our drum smoker up today, get some smoke rolling, and get these on the pit. So to get the drum going today, I pulled the fire basket out and I'm filling it up with Royal Oak lump charcoal. Got a couple tumbleweed fire starters that I'm gonna put on the side. We're gonna get those lit and then set the fire basket right back down in the drum. Also gonna add some wood. I've got some pecan smoker wood and the pecan wood really gives a good flavor to beef. And you could use whatever kind of wood you want. When the coals get good and hot, we're gonna put our cooking grate in place and close the lid and adjust the vent so that our pit runs about 275 today. We're gonna hold it there. The entire cook. So the drum's up to temperature. I got it running about 275. Got some of that light pecan smoke going. It's smelling fantastic, especially the rub on these cheeks. It's time to get them on the pit. We're just going to raise our lid here. We're going to start placing these just on the cooking grate. I lightly sprayed it with some cooking oil just to keep them from sticking. We're going to need a couple hours here in the smoke. It's going to kind of give them a bark on the outside, cook those seasonings into the meat. But what's really going to break these cheeks down is when we put them in a braising liquid. And I'm going to show you that here in a couple hours. We'll check back in on them, see how our smoke's going. Let's get the lid closed. Just let this gateway do its magic. All right, you see we still got that pecan smoke rolling. Let's check out our beef cheeks. It's been about two and a half hours and they have got plenty of color for me. You can see they're starting to get that bark look to them. That's what I want. We just wanted that to kind of dry up on the outside, start rendering some of that fat. You can see how they're juicy and bubbling on top. This is when we're really going to work some magic on them. First, I'm going to get them off, put them in a large pan, and we're going to get these babies tender today. So these beef cheeks look great right now, but they're nowhere near done. They're tough as they can be because they have all that intermuscular fat and it's a dense piece of meat. So we have to break them down just like we would a chuck roast, a beef rib, or even a brisket. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna add to the pan is an onion. I've just peeled and sliced it. and We're gonna scatter that around these beef cheeks. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor. That onion's gonna cook down. Also throwing in a handful of garlic cloves, more flavor right there. We need some liquid. That's what's gonna help braise these beef cheeks. It's gonna add some moisture. It's gonna add some steam in the pan. I'm using beef stock and I've got a quart, but it's probably not gonna take all of it. You just wanna pour enough in the pan where it comes up on the beef cheeks a little bit. We're not submerging them. And to spice it up, I'm adding some Valentina hot sauce. 
that's gonna give it a nice kick. Now to watch the internal temperatures, I'm gonna put a probe thermometer right here in this thickest beef cheek. I wanna know what's going on while it's on the pit. The probe's gonna let me do that. We're looking for 210 degrees. That's where these cheeks are really gonna fall apart and be tender. We're gonna cover the pan up with aluminum foil, get it right back on the pit, and we're just gonna let that pit do its job. Keep the temp at 275 and monitor those internal temperatures. So it's been two and a half hours since I've had the beef cheeks on the drums getting tender, melting down. My alarm's telling me they're 210 degrees, so I'm gonna take them off. We're gonna take them over the cutting board. We're gonna take a quick pick at them, see if they're done or see if they need a few more minutes. So let's get them off. This is very hot. I do have some cotton gloves on underneath these. We're gonna take the pan out and we're gonna go over to the cutting board. So get that good beef cheek facial going, all this steam coming out. Now be careful because it is hot. I'll just take the foil off so we can look at them. You can see they've cooked down, our probe's still in. I'm looking for tenderness. And man, this is sliding in like butter. I don't care what the temp's saying, I'm feeling it. And I know, I mean, you could look, there's no resistance. That's what you want. It's like going in brisket point in. They've cooked down, they've rendered down, they've still got some beautiful color to them. I'm gonna say they're done, but we need to let them rest because I've got to shred these. Even though I got on gloves, I want them to calm down. I don't want to jump right in there now. I want them to stop cooking, let some of this steam off. I'm gonna go ahead and take the probe out and I'm just gonna put the foil back over it loosely. Just let the steam escape. That way they'll calm down. They're not gonna burn me up when I get ready to shred them. I can go get the stuff prepped for the tacos show you how we're gonna make some beef cheek tacos. So I let the cheeks hang out here 30, 45 minutes, long enough to stop cooking and cool off. The liquid's kind of calmed down a little bit. Now we're gonna get them out of the liquid and put them right here on the board. And I'm not gonna throw that liquid away. I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. I mean, they look fantastic. A beautiful color on the outside of them. Big pile of beef cheeks. And you wanna see how tender they are? Check this out. You can just take them by hand and break this meat apart. And you wanna pick out anything that didn't render if there's any connective tissue left, but they should shred really easy. That's when you know they're done. It's just like pulling pork. We're just kind of tearing it into little shreds. You don't have to chop it, you don't have to slice it. Since we took the time trimming them, there's not a lot of that connective tissue left in them. You know I gotta get a bite, see how it tastes. Mmm, mmm, still warm. That melts in your mouth. All that fat's rendered down. I mean, it's like better than brisket point. Now, as I'm pulling it, I'm just pulling out anything that doesn't look good. If you got a little onion stuck to it, that's okay. It could stay in there. But if you see any gristle or any sinew that didn't, that didn't render, you want to get that out. But I am leaving some of these bark pieces in it because that's going to give it texture when we make these into tacos or however you want to eat them. I like to leave a little of that crunch. So tender though pretty much just falls right apart. So all the cheeks are pulled, and let me show you what we're gonna do with all this delicious renderings we've captured here in our braising liquid. I'm just gonna pour it up in a bowl, because I'm not throwing it away, it's too good. But I'm just gonna take a ladle of this, dress it over the top, then I'm gonna toss the meat in it just to add a little bit more of that flavor, a little bit of moisture back to this beef cheek. We'll just give it a toss here, kind of moisten it all up. I mean, you can have a party with this. Look how much meat this yielded. That's a pile of tacos. I've got some warm corn tortillas. I'm gonna double them up. You need them extra strong to hold all this meat. Lay them out here on the board. We're gonna start with some of the beef cheek meat. As little or as much as you desire, and I desire a lot. Just wanna pile that up on the tortilla. That looks good to me. Then I've got some fresh white onion. I've diced really fine. Gonna dress it with these. You can top these tacos with whatever you want. A little cilantro for me. Gotta have some green veggies, right? And some of this Mexican cotija cheese. It's kind of like a Mexican parm. Going right over the top with it. And for a sauce, I'm just gonna drizzle them with a little bit more of our liquid that cooked out. You don't wanna go too heavy. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got all those spices from the rubs we put in it. The richness from the fat melting as it cooked on the smoker. You pick up all that pit flavor. Now tell me those don't look good. I've got my son Michael on standby. Mike, you wanna come back around and try one of these? He loved these when we had them out at Matt's place. We had them for breakfast out there. I think they're good any time of day. Michael, which one of these do you want, son? I want that one. You want this one? All right, think you can handle it? Yeah. All that beef cheek goodness? There you go. Don't drop it on yourself. It's going to be juicy. Woo, I'm going to go for this one right here in the middle. You ready? Yeah. Tell me how good they are. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think, son? That's really good. 
That's an awesome taco, ain't it, man? That meat just melts in your mouth. How many can you eat? Probably three. You can go for three of them? I can too, man. Probably about three or four, right? I got to thank my buddy Matt for showing me these beef cheek tacos. Y'all got to try them. Look for them at Sam's. That's where I found them. I'm sure you can get your butcher to source them too. Simple to do. Put some season on them. Get them in some smoke. Braise them down in some good liquid and collect all that juice at the end. They'll fall right apart. You can make tacos. You can serve them however you like, but I guarantee you they're fantastic. Thanks for checking us out at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Shell and I will wrap up our week with our podcast. We'll see y'all next time. Michael, what'd you think, man? Those were awesome, aren't they? Whoever thought to eat some beef face was genius. Mm.